<laughs> to shift now to prime time this evening, of course, presenter search on 3D Express Edition has, has really gotten real now. Our contestants are being put to the test. And for this week's episode, um, our talented hopefuls had to present an insert that channels that feel-good energy of Expresso's morning show. So now one of the very important causes being featured tonight, and we absolutely love this, is the volunteer wildfire services. They are kept very busy here in the Western Cape. So I mean, incredible human beings giving their time, putting their bodies on the line. And we are now joined by Peter Wynn, John Meinking and Nikki Greenberg, who are all volunteer firefighters here to um, tell us, I think, a little bit more about the importance of the work that they do, but open a window into what must be the most incredible and stressful situations, <laughs> environments that you guys volunteer. That's the key word, yeah, volunteer to go into. Um, so first of all, thank you so much for, for uh, coming to, to play along with us. Um, I'm sure a lighter you. moment in what must be a pretty hectic line of work. Uh, maybe, Peter, I can, I can start with you. If someone decides to volunteer, mm. <laughs> Are you a little bit silly, a little bit crazy? Is it a calling? <laughs> what, what prompted you personally to want to put yourself and your life on the line, pretty much, um, for this, this effort? Look, I think a lot of people volunteer because they, they love being out in the environment. A lot of them are outdoorsy kind of people, and they want to give something back to the community. Mm. It's a very different way to give back. It's, a, it's, a, it's an adrenaline rush, as, as you mentioned. Um, as odd as it sounds for those who join, there is a, there is a fun behind it as well um, for that, but you are serving the community, you are making a, you are making a bigger difference, um, particularly with things like the drought as it recently is predicting water Oof. catchments and things like that. I know I can feel the, the community and the vibe, and I've been lucky enough to work alongside firefighters, volunteers, and, and really get a window into how hectic the situation can be. What are some of the more extreme environments, situations, uh, John, that you, you have entered into? We, we, I heard a statistics between 1,000 and 1,500 wildfires can occur in the Western Cape in just one season. That is insane. So how hectic can it get? Um, it, it can get quite hectic uh, at times, but our training really uh, comes to the fore during that time. Uh, safety is just tantamount. Uh, but things can get uh, out of control. There can be a wind shift. Uh, all of a sudden, the, the fire jumps the road or there's a spot fire and things start to escalate. But uh, we know how to handle that. So it can get a bit, a bit hairy. Um, at times. Um, Your but beard's only just grown back. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I've just trimmed it now because it was a bit fire susceptible. Yeah. Um, Nikki, I think the most important part is because you're, there is something very generous about you taking your, your devotion to community and, and to the wild to this degree. But how can we, if we don't have the time or, or the gumption to the, the, the adrenaline fueled nature to, to go out and do this, how can people support your efforts? Look, there are various ways to support. Obviously, if you would like to be a firefighter, a minimum requirement would be that you're 18 and fairly fit. Um, our recruitment season opens in March, April each year. But um, of course, there are various options and ways in which you can support. Um, best advice would be to visit our website, click on the support tab. Um, there are options like Give and Gain, SnapScan, My School, in which people can contribute. And then obviously, we run a series of events every year. So. Um, We've got an upcoming golf day this Monday at Stiernberg, which we're still looking to, to fill. Um, and then, of course, we've got trail challenges, um, mm -hmm. Cape Town Cycle Tour all year round that um, obviously help us raise funds. So we are an NPO. We aren't subsidised. Um, we don't get any grants. So all our funding is entirely dependent on, on public support. Mm -hmm. um, and just, I mean, I now understand the relationship between the drought and lack of water and wildfires destroying the, the vegetation that we need to be able to create the sponge to soak up the water. Mm -hmm. So there is a very strong connection there. Mm. Um, one thing that, uh, I don't know if you guys are used to that, going onto TV, being interviewed, um, <laughs> if this feels more scary than, than broaching <laughs> wildfire. But, um, Give us a fire. <laughs> we, um, Kutle, um, agreement. Um, young Kutle Adams, one of the, the finalists in Presenter Search on 3, had the, the wonderful job of being able to kind of mm. enter into your world. What was she like? How did it go? I think it was, it was a great experience. Um, I think uh, we ran it through her paces. Uh, we, <laughs> Good. We ran a drill. Good. We ran a drill. <laughs> I think she got a little bit wet in the drill as well, yes. um, which is very keen, very enthusiastic. Um, I, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, it was on Heritage Day as well, which, re which really oh. helped tie everything together with us protecting the heritage and, and things like that. So it was 
was good. I hope she goes far. Um, yeah, I was going to ask, do you think she's got, got what it takes? Now you've, you've seen how, how silly our job actually <laughs> is. Uh, do you think she can go all the way? I think, well, listen, compared to, to the others, uh, they've all got their, their pros and cons and stuff, but uh, she's got great energy. Uh, yeah, she's, she's willing to jump in there. Um, oh, I, think, I think she's got it. Do you think she could make it as a volunteer firefighter? Mm. <laughs> well, that, that's an interesting question. <laughs> think, uh, we'll have to see, won't we? Well, maybe she can join us for training season uh, next year. I think it's in March that we start. Mm. And then uh, we can put her through her paces. It's all to do with fitness, but there's skills mm. involved. And, yeah, it's, mm. Listen, it's for anybody mm. who really enjoys the mountain, uh, who's fairly fit, and who's keen to learn mm. and be. And we're all passionate about what we do. Yeah, clearly. And, and who cares? Um, I, I get a sense that the, this is, uh, there is a devotion there that goes beyond just kind of a sense mm. of responsibility. Mm. But it's a, there is a care for each other and a care for, mm. for this beautiful planet, this beautiful yeah. country of ours. So thank you so much for your continued volunteer service, you crazy, crazy people. <laughs> Um, thank you for looking after us to the degree that you are. Um, it's a very, very special thing. And if you want to delve a little deeper into their amazing lives, um, you can, of course, um, delve into all of the excitement on Presenter Search on 3. It really is heating up. Excuse the pun. Just four more weeks, I can't believe it, of this journey to find out who will take the two coveted presenting spots right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And you can share in this exciting process by tuning in to Presenter Search on 3, the Espresso Edition, every Wednesday night at 7 30 p.m. in the evenings and that repeat going out on a Saturday at 1 p.m. right here on SABC3 where the stage is yours. So be sure to stick around after the break. Peter, John, Nikki, they're going to show us what it takes to be a volunteer firefighter. <laughs> it's your time to shine with the <laughs> search well, on 3 and Orbit Gum. It's your time to shine with Orbit Gum and present a search on three, the Espresso Edition. Follow the journey as the top contestants work through weeks of grueling challenges, fighting for one of two presenter spots on Espresso, all to be decided in a nail-biting finale. It's your time to shine with present a search on three, the Espresso Edition. Wednesday evenings at 7.30, repeat Saturdays at 1, only on SABC3. Oh man, having a lot of fun here chatting to Peter, John and Nikki, our volunteer firefighters who brought some toys for us. <laughs> of course, they had the opportunity to be interviewed by Kutle Adams, one of the finalists in Presenter Search on 3. So you'll get the scoop on that tonight at 7.30 live right here on 3 as Presenter Search on 3. The Expresso Edition <laughs> continues, but right now you can see I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> um, a bit we've nervous got some, here, I think. I, I, I've kind of seen what you guys do. I've, I've been able to touch on it before and I, I'm amazed at... It's so physical, the work that you do, but there are mm. so many different things involved. So T and I are going to get a little, a little bit of an education. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm, I yeah. just love this, the, the giant fly swatter you've brought here. <laughs> really, really cool. Luckily, um, guys, I learned very fast. By the end of this, I'll be ready to come join you as a volunteer. Honestly, yeah. no Fantastic. training required. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a lot of training, so, so don't uh, make no mistake. Okay, so, buddy, John, take it, uh, uh, Peter, take it away. Give us the, the lowdown on, on what's going on and okay, so what we gotcha. So what we're going to do is Basically, we've got a couple of the major tools that we use. Um, most of the time, we're hiking deep into the mountain, so we don't get water. A lot of the times, it's it's straight up in front of the flames. So we're just going to start, uh, Nikki, John, if you guys can start kitting up. Um, so they're going to kit up into the PPE that we would, personal protective equipment that we'd normally be wearing. Thanks for breaking that down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the PPE. So, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> so they're going to be setting up into that by the time they're done. This, you should only be able to see This is us. why John couldn't talk through this. <laughs> okay, now I like that the PPE is quite trendy as well. I mean, I could don this on a Saturday, just rocking up there. But, yeah, yeah oh. Nikki loves the flattering nature of the uniform <laughs> in general. <laughs> I mean. uh, uh, but, you, but you need this. Eh? And I, I'm presuming like, this, is, this is a fire retardant to a degree, but you, the fumes, the smoke, it's got to be intense. Yeah, we, we can't get anywhere close without the equipment on. Um, so if, if they weren't wearing that, they would notice immediately. Yeah. Um, if there's a little bit of skin showing around the goggles, then they'd be pulling You'll back. You'll feel it. Straight You'll feel it. Oh. So you see when like John is nearly fully kitted up there, he's basically got just his eyes are showing in there. So that'll keep him protected as much as possible. Obviously, we, we have to rotate out quite quickly. It can be a couple of few, couple hundred degrees up to, up to 800 degrees. How hot can it get? Six to 800 degrees sometimes. Sure. So it's in and it's out. like the surface cooking. of the sun, basically, <laughs> is, is, is what we're talking about. Yeah. Wow. So once they're kitted up, then they're going to grab, they're going to grab some tools um, for that. So, so John, do you want to grab <clears throat> some beaters and then... Can I grab a beater? Yeah, there you go. Can I grab you a beater? Want to grab a raker? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank and then, Nikki, you, you want to take the hose? Well, it's actually it's that's quite a hefty. Mm. Hey. 
So, so, this, so then we'd be work, we'd be very much working in teams of those. It's not a one. This is not a occupation for one. We got in teams of yeah. five to eight, depending on what's happening. Mm. Um, so then the guys will be working together. Um, and I would imagine for, for effectiveness, but also because you need to have each other's back. Yeah. Basically, yeah. There's, there's a couple of people other, looking yeah? around. One of those is great by itself, but when you've got four or five of them in a row, also you'll the beat that the, fire. Yeah. And what the guy at the front the is rake, really then? Hot. Are you? What are you raking out? So at the end of the, a lot of it, we, we don't get water to put out the embers. So a lot of it is just clearing the fuel back, letting it let it burn itself out. Uh, and also we've only, we can only engage flames one and a half, two meters high with those tops. Okay. So sometimes we'll pull back, we'll cut in a break, we'll wait till the you're fire gets to You're making a fire out. break essentially, we're removing fuel for the fire to be able to burn, yeah. so it has to... One of my colleagues calls it high speed gardening. Mm. Um, <laughs> there's a fire approaching, you've got to clear this area before before it gets there. Yeah. Um, Very physical, take, eh? Uh, from how, there. How, what, how, what's the, the technique of beating? So, John, do you want to go through? Show me. Okay. You can come on the other side of your grab. Right. Cool. And then Tavisa, Graham, come in here with me. Okay. And All right. And then, me. The and then what you so can you'd, follow? you follow up at the end. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to lift up the beater. Right. And then we're going to hit the ground softly. Yep. Oh. So we <laughs> don't destroy oh. this. Okay. Oh. And then what you're going to do is you're going to smother. There we go. There we go. And then, we go. Again. And then, and then you'd then. be following up behind, cleaning up behind them, basically. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> so basically, uh, it's, it's like. The movie 300, where you're driving the person. <laughs> uh, that is awesome. Yeah. So we'd be, keeping, we'd be making sure that it's all clear and things oh, like this that. This is a hugely satisfying <laughs> exercise. It must be hugely <laughs> cathartic to, to see that fire push Go back. Down. I, one of those oh. things is one of the most amazing things for me is once you've been working out there, you've got an, I want to say a decent long fire line. You get to the top of the mountain, you can look back on the past couple of kilometers that mm. you put out. You've been working eight hours. There's two, three kilometers of fire line that's gone out. Mm, must be fulfilling. Oh, Very fulfilling man, in this time. Awesome. When you drive, when I drive around the peninsula, and you see areas where you know that that fire line is, there's young felts. Like I yeah. stopped it there. I'm as part of that That's team, or I led that, that team. That Exactly. One of the things most synonymous with firefighting is obviously the hose pipes. Mm -hmm. So would this connect to, like, would you have a, a vehicle? Thanks, buddy. Would this? How would you? Gain access to water in the far flung places. Is that nice? Do you have to have a big one of the trucks? So, some, for most of it, within the within the peninsula, within the national parks um, and around urban centres, we will will obviously have um, fire trucks there for that. Deeper in the bush, they will take them as far as they can go. Um, so we talk about the wildland urban interface, which is the area where we need to protect to make sure that we we don't we don't use houses. Yeah, it's very really, really um, scary. Yeah, and that's and that's where the guys are coming in with the big trucks, and that'll be the um, you know your uh, municipal services. Um, for that, are you going to give this? Are you, gonna very light, are, you allow, are you letting him do? How much does one of these things weigh? I remember yeah. hoisting one up so, in an. So it's about 10 kgs yeah. or so as empty. When it's full, it's about 50 kgs with water in it. Wow. So once wow. you've got a bunch of legs dragging it, so the, the trick is to throw sport, this out eh? yeah. with yeah. as much yeah. force as you need. Why am well, I you not just make sure that you grab the Why am I not that confident in your? Just letting him do it, eh? Come on, Tobias. Would be like a captain that says, "Throw the hose." So think, think what about you bowling say? when you're doing it. So nice and low and, and bowl it out rather than... Do you bowl? Oh, that was good. Like normal. Oh, yeah. rolling oh, no, I, 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 I roll <laughs> You roll us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, Captain, would you, what would you say? What do you say? What's the well, now we give a single for more hose. Okay. And then you roll that out. I go, okay. Are you guys ready? All right. There we yeah. go. That's not oh, bad. That's, that's good. pretty good. <laughs> and you've got a perfect arc on it. Avoid not getting quite good at this. Well done. That was really cool. Then we clip in. Then we clip in and it'd be as simple as that yeah. and then off you'd go. And then you're just like... Ah, okay. And, you, and the thing's folded Killing in the fire. that way Killing so the, the, fire. The, mm. the, the pin doesn't yeah. end up exactly, a exactly. million miles so, away. So, yeah. Oh, and then we guys. add more as needed uh, I'm, for that. Uh, I'm actually starting to get really envious of Kutlin now having the opportunity to spend a, a proper amount of time with you guys. Um, thank you so much for the work that you do every, every oh, no, day in pleasure. your volunteer space. So thank you so much. Yeah. Um, you look amazing. I'm not going to ask you to speak while you've got your... <laughs> your stay, stay safe, um, I suppose, most importantly, when you do the work as we move into fire season. I know you're going to be doing a huge amount. I don't know if you're allowed to put another man's mask on. I don't know. No, you can't. Um, can I, 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 I keep uh, this? For, for, just no, for, you can't. For, well, well, then what am I going to do? I don't want to see these guys do what they do and see Kutler being put through her paces. 7.30 tonight on Presenter Search on 3. You're going to see our remaining contestants really leveling up with some pretty cool insert challenges in their efforts to become the next Espresso presenter. There are two coveted spots available. Who is going to get it? The stage is theirs. Will they own it? Guys, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Nicely done, man.